Welcome back to Regina's World. If you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I made a new video. So today, guys, we're going to review another facial um, mask that I bought and this is made from Thailand. So I already showed this the last time but I haven't reviewed it yet. So this is it, guys. So this is a frozen collagen mask with whitening 10 times so I tried this like twice already and it really good in the skin so now we're gonna try one so you can see how I do it so it's a premium collagen peptide 9000 mg L-glutathione is 3000 mg I think what is a milligram uh, whitening 10 times plus mask so steps first steps is cleansing after cleansing remove the mask carefully open it fit the mask and the whole face to the eyes and lips after about 15 minutes remove the mask and number four even evenly uh, spread the remaining liquid to the skin by hand so this one is made in thailand so we're gonna try it guys and I want to have a facial mask this morning before the kids wake up. So let's open it. That. So there's the inside. As I said last time, we as mom taking care of our kids we need also like 30 minutes or one hour of comfort time <laughs> even though we don't need to go outside we just take care of ourselves we wake up you can have your coffee read meditate pray facial exercise take care of our body mind mentally spiritually and physically you can do stretching call it yoga so there it is guys we just put it in our face for 15 minutes so we wait for 15 minutes guys so before that we can talk about different things You can make a bit massage it like that. So, I don't want to use that uh, rejuvenating set because I don't want my skin like peeling off. So even before I haven't used like boxy peel or something like that, I'm just using like carrot soap or papaya soap. That's all I'm using and like DIY facial mask that I'm using like roses that I put with baking soda or lemon and tomato but I usually got lots of like black spots in my, my skin especially I'm getting old like I'm 36 <laughs> and I want to get rid of it or brighten a little bit my skin facial skin So, uh, beside the um, facial mask, I want to talk about uh, our life being a mom. So, I got two children. One has autism, non-verbal, and the other one is, I don't know yet, <laughs> because of his tantrum. He's five years old. He is a bright kid. He knows how to read. He knows how to write. He knows a lot of stuff in, like, academically. So, he's kinder now, and every time he get upset he hit his head or try to not try he he really bite his hand and also hitting his body and he shout a lot 
while crying. So every day is a struggle for us, especially we can't go out um, for nine months almost or more than nine months since March. So it's really, it's really difficult for us as parents. It's like you can't handle the crying and all. I know some parents would say crying of their kids is like music to their e ears already. <laughs> Until now, I can't, can't, I can't do it. It's like makes me irritable and angry. So that's the struggle that we have right now, and uh, we we still thinking what we what we need to do to take care of it. So we just need to pray and control our anger <laughs> more patience with our kids so every parents has different stories we, we know that not everyone has perfect parenting style or tips that they're doing with their kids I know some of the parents are struggling too especially with this lockdown thing kids can't even go out to swim or to go to the mall to, to play or uh, go to the park we usually do that but for nine months or so kids stuck at home and <clears throat> that's that's the, the problem that we need to address hopefully we can visit places with the kids so maybe their aggression will <laughs> lessen so about matthew that has autism he's uh, almost seven years old and he's non -verbal. He his tantrum or meltdown before is also like the other one, the second child. He also hit himself, he bite his his arm and cry that we don't know what's the reason. <clears throat> so it's really difficult, especially the uh, dealing with the, the kids like this. So So if you know what we're dealing you can comment down below and give us your tip how to handle our kids <laughs> because we don't know so i know that there's no um uh, what do you call that instruction book that we can get from the internet how to take care of our kids but there are some parents that make a book how to deal with their kids how to deal with that kid but every family has different situation um Especially our family is a awesome family. We call it autism and awesome. <laughs> so we have the group, the um, family support group, autism family support group here in the Philippines, and you can find it in uh, Facebook. So this group is uh, helping families out there when kids have a ha the kids with autism. So how to deal with them how to potty train them because at the age of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, until they grow old, they don't know how to to go to the toilet. They don't know how to cook. They don't know how to pee, where they, where they need to pee or they pee in their pants, the, uh, that kind of things. Also, having a, a prayer and fasting, same group, prayer and fasting uh, for our kids, for our our family, our nation, as a whole. So you can join with that too. So I don't know if it's uh, 15 minutes already. <laughs> so how many minutes now? 10 minutes. <laughs> so I still have um, 5 minutes ago. So yeah, um, as a parent or a mother, we tend to take care of our kids whole day with their tantrums, with their meltdown, with their uh, when the time they're happy, we're also happy. When the time they're sad or they're upset and crying out their lungs out, something like that. Uh, we, we need to deal with it. We need to feed them. We need to teach them because um, we are homeschool family, so we need to teach our kids at home. Um, we need to take care of ourselves too. Who's going to take care of us? So, no one, just us. <laughs> so, we need to pamper ourselves a little bit read our like favorite verses in the bible so we need to take care of our physical and mental and spiritual um, health uh, if you like tea you can drink your tea in the morning 
I don't know if my husband already made our tea. Not yet. You're making it? Oh, it's ready. Can I have one cup, please? You just need to take care of yourself, your husband also, because the both of you are stressing. And like a little me time for us before the kids wake up. And also, like if you like yoga, you can have stretching, exercise. Um, you can have planking for five minutes or so. Um, you can read a book that you like. Also, you can jog for an hour outside. You just need to wear a mask. So we can go out now, we can jog outside. I, I usually bring my um, quarantine pass and ID, so there's no problem. And also, um, you can do the stuff that you like, like for 30 minutes and an hour. If you like to paint, if you like to draw, you can just do it. But if you like to like put makeup on, so let's have a tea and this is a chai tea and um, rice milk. <laughs> it's a rice milk, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's organic rice milk. Chai Ceylon. Oh, chai and Ceylon. Yeah. Yes, what do you mean? Chai is Ceylon oh. tea with <laughs> spices. Okay. Chai is a Ceylon tea with spices. That's what my husband said. He's a tea man. <laughs> uh, I'm just drinking what he made, so. We're not a coffee person, uh, basically. We like tea. We like fruit drinks like lemon or oranges. So, toast mothers out there. <laughs> Let's have our me time. So. And also, um, uh, I want to share to you my... Um, greatest um, Bible um, verse. I really like it uh, since I was young. So lastly, I'm going to share to you my favorite um, verse in the Bible. So I have it since uh, I was little, since I started. Is this yours? Started uh, going to church. So I was Catholic. I grew up as a like, Catholic family and uh, I went to the convent for like five years so I was a nun before and when I met my husband he, he is a uh, Protestant and now I'm Protestant <laughs> so I have here I'm gonna share with you my favorite psalm which is Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pasture. He leads me besides quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So that's a song that I really love since I was young. So it's a song 23. So if we trust in God, we believe in Him, we love Him with all our heart, whatever um, trials that we're going through, He will be there for us. So it's a reflection also for me, this uh is uh, sharing or uh, the, the, the verse or the psalm that I read because it's been a while that I haven't read the, the Bible, I haven't reflected, I haven't prayed because uh, I'm so troubled with, with uh, the children, with, with our life right now because of uh, my kids' behavior. So that's the main thing. So it's like I've been troubled for, for a very long month now and uh, now I, I realize that it's not good for me but I need to return to God and pray more and keep Him in my life. So. 
take it off now. It's more than 15 minutes, I think. So, after you take it off, just massage a little bit longer. So, just a circular motion in your skin. Like that. Until it's dry. You just leave it there. You don't need to rinse it. So for me, it's not it's not um, it's not itchy. It really feels good in the skin. So I love this frozen collagen mask. You can buy it from Shopee, but this one I bought it from my sister-in-law here in Cebu. So that's all, guys, and thank you very much for watching. Bye.